Yo, I'm going to give y'all the season two, episode nine. I'm going to give y'all that whole breakdown on what just happened in the past episode. The new episode, episode 10, is out on Thursday, every Thursday. Come out every Thursday um, on Peacock, on Bel Air. But uh, episode nine, I had to really do a video on this one because... It's a lot that's going on, and I feel like it need to be, you know, some things need to be talked about. Um, for starters, man, uh, Hillary and Jazz relationship. Um, Hillary went out her way to try to, you know, get on Jazz's parents' good side when they all went out to dinner in uh, episode eight. I'm going to take it back another episode. And so she even, like, dressed in a completely different outfit, attire, you know, because Jazz, both of his parents, was Muslim. Uh, so she had the whole thing over her head and everything to try to win over Jazz's parents. And after the dinner, you know, it seems like Hillary and Jazz's relationship was going, you know, was going all right. But um, they tend to not um, start to see, it seemed like it was a distance starting to build between the two because Hillary's ex-boyfriend came back into the picture and um, because he was getting the house out there um, close to where she, you know, was living at. You know, cause he was giving, getting the house because, you know, he's a uh, some, I think, basketball, football player, football player, I mean. So when they end up bumping up into each other at um at a house because they was having some get together and um I'm guessing that you know he wanted to like you know show his face up and let you know her know that you know he's back around and um he's getting a house out there. So this whole get together, you know, Jazz was over there, you know, everybody was over there at um at Uncle Phil's and you know and Vivian's house. So when they bumped into each other. They started rekindling some old flames, man, and um, they started talking uh, business-wise about what he could probably do to help Hillary out as far as, like, with her, you know, content and things that she'd be, you know, doing with her um, online as far as her business. So he wanted to help her out with that, and they started laughing and talking, and Jazz seen the whole thing, and he's like, you know, Try to play it cool, but it really got under his skin that Hillary, you know, was seemed like she, you know, was entertaining the fact of of talking to her ex and you know things of that sort. So he kind of like distanced himself from her and um, was saying pretty much like. Uh, Letting her pretty much figure out what she wanted. So he was kind of like, you know, not returning the calls and things of that sort. So on to episode nine, um, she was supposed to meet up with Jazz, but um, she, Hillary, was at her ex-boyfriend spot. Well, no, actually, no, she was at, um, yeah, she was at her house. He was still over there, you know, because um, they had, I guess, it was the um, something, that, uh, an event earlier, and um, he wanted to um, show up again at this event they had earlier at her house. So um, the song came on, they went up and they started dancing, because she had text jazz, and then um, she was finna text him, but he had asked her did she want to dance, so she left her phone on the table. And, um, yeah, this was episode eight still. But um, she left the phone on the table, and he asked her to come by, but she never came by. So in episode nine, Jazz had this whole get-together um, to celebrate his, uh, because Jazz uh, owns a record store. So he, has, he had a get-together um, celebrating the opening for the record store, and um, he had everybody coming over, you know, so... He put the whole thing up on Instagram and, you know, 
pretty much was letting everybody know that, you know, the opening or not the opening, but the, um, that event that he was having to celebrate, you know, him, you know, his achievements at, at this record store that he uh, owned. He was posting up online and Hillary saw it. So she was going to pop up and show up, uh, show her face up. And mind you, she's over here still entertaining her ex. So she gets there at the opening party. And she sees Jazz dancing with two other chicks. And it was just a dance, man. So she gets mad. And then she leaves, goes back to her ex house, kiss this nigga, and he end up hitting it. Now, this is what she wanted to do all along. She was just trying to find a reason so she won't feel guilty for doing what she wanted to do anyway. This was the messed up thing about it. Jazz didn't even see her pop up because when he was dancing, that's when she showed up. And by the time when she had went back out the door, he looked up and she was gone. Or well, he didn't even know. But he wasn't doing nothing but dancing. But she went back and smashed on her ex. And I'm like, wow, man. Fire. Just up to no good. So, um, after that situation, her, you know, kissing her ex and everything like that, um, Will has this incident with him and his AAU uh, high school coach. Because Will had got, um, Will got kicked off the team at his school at Bel Air. And um, he had to end up, you know, in order to get a, a chance to be able to play college basketball, you know, he wanted to, um, he joined this AAU team because his coach was like watching, you know, went to all Will's games at Bel Air. So he seen that he could play, he could ball, and he Will had to prove himself some more by um, playing a couple of pickup games against the AAU kids, one of Doc's kids, because the dude's name is Doc. He's like an AAU coach. So after he, you know, uh, showed Doc that he could play uh, against his players. And um, he did well in that on the pickup game on street court of that sort. You know, he, uh, he went through trials, got past trials. But Doc has a side that, you know, that uh, a lot of people didn't expect, you know, for him to have. And he has a dark side. And um, it involves with um, having these kids play for him and um, profiting off of these kids, like, making money off of these kids and that's that's just like against like rules and regulations but this dude that he um was um uh, cool with it was in business with i guess doc cut him out and this dude is willing to speak out on doc and you know pretty much gonna tell everything and get doc whole thing messed up so doc needs help from uncle phil to be able to like you know to come see this dude, and his name is like, uh, what, Lorenzo, I think? Yeah, Lorenzo, this dude that Doc uh, so-called used to be cool with. And um, I guess he ain't getting a piece of the pie, so he willing to, he, he's ready to spill the beans and just, you know, get Doc all messed up and thrown in jail. So Uncle Phil is involved and Jeffrey's involved, because Jeffrey's like a low-key gangster, too, because he be watching everything. You know, he even watching Carden, Coke snoring ass, you know what I'm saying? So he pretty much sees everything and knows what's going on. So um, when Doc has Uncle Phil and uh, Jeffrey in his uh, in his office talking about the whole thing situation about um, Will going up to him and saying like how could you do this and you know it, it pretty much explaining Uncle Phil everything that him and Will uh, was talking about basically and you know just expressing him himself and how the way you know just let Uncle Phil know like it's not what it seems or what he or what Will is telling you. You know, uh, it's a lot that's behind it. And this dude, Lorenzo, you know, pretty much got trying to have something over Doc's head to try to um, get him messed up and thrown in jail because of this whole thing that he's doing with these kids. Like, this AAU basketball kids making money or whatever off of them. But the thing is, man, like, he's really not doing a bad thing. It's a business. You know, uh, just because it's not a business that, License is legit doesn't mean that it's a necessarily back then because he's actually giving these kids exposure to be able to go to college so they can make their own money off their own likeness. You know, but Doc just using this so he can make money, so he can stay afloat doing what he's doing, but he's giving these kids opportunities. But it's looking 
you know, you know, it's always looked at in a bad light because it's a brother that's doing it. That's what I don't understand. These kids get brainwashed and thinking that, you know, it's just something so bad that um, what AAU coaches, like, making money, like, it's not them making money off the players. It's a business, man. They're giving these kids opportunities, and they just need some money so they can keep the business going. But like I said, since it's a brother doing it, it gets shunned upon as such like a bad light. So um, after um, when Will had that discussion with Doc earlier before this whole um, get together with um, Uncle Phil and Jeffrey and I'm meeting in the office with Doc, uh, that was pretty much all what they talked about. And Will just getting all emotional because he don't understand because he's a kid. So um, fast forward to when I'm all meeting together in the office, Doc was telling them about Lorenzo and what, like I was just saying, about the whole situation with him, you know, he having to uh, need Uncle Phil in his corner, Jeff in his corner, to be able to handle this cat so he won't be able to, you know, mess up everything that's going on with Doc and him trying to help these kids. Because Doc isn't really the bad guy. Lorenzo, uh, he's really look, he's really the bad guy because he's trying to destroy everything that Doc's got going on because Doc cut him off. And like I said, Lorenzo is an old business partner of Doc that used to help him with the uh, whole AAU situation and, you know, coaching him with the kids. So, um, yeah, man, so shit, shit is really finna hit the fan even more. And I'm, I can't wait to see what else is going to happen next. But that whole, re- that whole uh, breakdown of, of episode nine, y'all, I mean, it's crazy. It is crazy. And um, if y'all ain't seen it, I just wanted to, like, get y'all to be able to picture everything while I was breaking down with this whole situation because it's pretty much, it's, it's just, it's finna, get, it's finna get crazier. You know, with episode 10, you know, dropping, it's finna get crazy. So that's just a breakdown of Bel Air. And, um... I may be back to do another one for episode 10, but we'll see. But, um, yeah, live, love, and laugh, and stay military-minded, stay focused on yourself, y'all. This is Sensei Reality TV. One love, peace, gone.